Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Beretta 9mm USA Senior here. And today on either the Beretta 9mm USA channel or the CZ 9mm USA channel as we run both gun channels, this is another quality new Beretta pistol. The latest one that I really, really dug and check out the video if you haven't seen it was that single action only Beretta 92. Very nice with a awesome trigger on it. This one, new grips for it. We'll talk about those in a little bit. So kind of keep these in mind as we're talking about the pistol because we're going to come back to these. Extra mag right here, 18 rounder. Nice. Counts at 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, and 18. So you can tell where you're at if you happen to do a mag check on it. Made in Italy, so mecca, right? Anyway. And the quick unboxing. There you go. Very tactical set up for a suppressor with these huge suppressor sights. Someday, Young Beretta and I may get into suppressors. We've talked about it. I said once I wasn't a deputy anymore. Well, that's been a while, so I haven't been doing that. So I've left that agency. But anyway, this is one that is set up for that. So if you're interested in putting a suppressor, AKA silencer, You've got your thread protector right here. Simply comes off like that. If you guys are new to these, be very careful with this. If you go out and shoot it without actually having a suppressor or anything on it, no can on there, you may want to remove this first to prevent it from working its way loose and then you lose it out in the field somewhere, okay? So just take it off before you shoot it. It may not look as cool, but it prevents you from making a mistake and losing that out in the field. So suppressor heights on there. You can always change those out, right? You can take them out if you want to or buy a second one, one that doesn't have sights like this, that's not set up for a can and one that is. That's another way you can go. Very, very cool hammer back here. It looks very much like a Wilson Combat, high, high quality hammer, as opposed to some of those older ones on the older Brettas that I was never a big fan of. Big mag button right here and another 18 round magazine. So nice to have a couple of those 18 round magazines and then you pick up three more and you are set. Big safety right here. Type 92XI. So what does that mean? Well, that means it's set up for single action only. Hammer's home and you've got no action going on here. Hammer has to be back in a single action trigger pull. Little movement, and then it breaks. Brand new pistol, probably fired at the factory a couple times, but other than that, has not been fired. Take up, little pressure, little movement, right there, and then it breaks. Let's go with our trigger finger a little higher in a normal position. Yeah, see that? There's the take up. Little movement right there, and then it snaps. So a lot of times that trigger is gonna improve. It's already starting to improve. It's gonna improve a little bit when you take it out for the first couple hundred rounds. And that little bit of movement right there may find that it goes away. Yeah, I spent a lot of time on 1911, so it's easy for me to find it and, and show it to you. And then it breaks. All right. Reset. Ooh. It's a nice reset. Little bit of movement, just a little, and then it breaks. There it is. And then as soon as it goes a little more, yeah, it just snaps. So again, this is off the reset. Try to get you a better picture here. Okay, I thought it was really quick. There it is. Back on it, a little movement, and then it breaks. So pretty damn consistent. What's the poundage on this single action only? Well, as it takes up that little bit of movement right there, it feels like it does that at like three, three and a half. 
and then it gets back here and now you're at four, maybe four and a quarter. Yeah, about three, three and a half. Oh, and that just goes. All right, let's find out if I'm right, if it's four pounds or what's going on here. Three pounds, eight ounces. Four point three. One more try since the camera's running. Again, I'm down here near the bottom and just trying to give a good slow trigger pull. Four pounds, six ounces. I do believe it will clean up a little bit as you fire it in a range, I'm already getting used to it. I like the feel of it. One thing about it I've noticed is, and I had some Browning High Powers early on in my shooting careers, but I am liking the Beretta pistols more and more over almost every other nine millimeter pistol out there, except for maybe a SIG 226, SIG 229 Legion, SIG 226 Legion. I own those guns and I really do like those but I'm finding these more and more to my liking. No matter what the configuration is, these single action ones are pretty phenomenal. A lot of people are gonna pick these up and expect them to be a double action, single action pistol. And so you're gonna go double action first pull, and then it's gonna go into a very nice single action after the pistol chambers the next round. So with these pistols, you're not gonna have that long double action trigger pull. You're gonna go right to that really sweet single action with your safety on. You grab the pistol, this is the way that the gun's gonna be carried unless you decide to carry it empty altogether, and then grab the gun and chamber the first round. And then you go ahead and you've got single action on your first trigger pull all the way to your 18th trigger pull. So there is no double action duty at all. You're going to go from the first round to your 18th round in single action. And this single action, this particular pistol right here has a little bit of give to it right there before it just snaps at just over four and a half pounds. So is it good? Yeah, it's good. Is it going to be even better after it breaks in? I think so. This is very comfortable in your hand, and if you want to change them, it's very easy to do so. And that's what those other grips were about, guys. We're gonna get you involved and have you help us out. The folks from Lock Grips have sent us a couple grips here for it. First one we're gonna talk about is this one right here. I'm gonna try not to lose any of the little pieces. So you've got like a red liner on it right here. And this is the way it looks, guys, just in case you're wondering. It tells you it's made by Lock Grips. It's for the Beretta 92XI. So it should be an exact fit. The grip panels themselves, very thin, right? Yeah, very thin. We've never broke a pair. They're made of good quality G10 material. So both of them are labeled now. Things have continued to improve over there at Lock Grips as they have grown. So this one will be like that. It'll give you that look right there. So that's one. The other lock grip is a gray with like a blue liner on it. So you've got the liner right here in blue. You've got the liner right here in red. Uh, let's see if I can show that to you what it kind of will look like when it's on the gun. Okay, gray and blue. So those are your choices. So when you watch the video, we're gonna know who stuck around and watched the very end of the video, and we'll change it over to the ones you guys vote in the most popular, okay? Again, there's that one. Beautiful, right? I am kind of a tan person. I kind of like the tans and the browns and stuff like that. Gives it a totally different look, right? And there it is. So we'll change it up however you guys voted in and we'll show that off on the shooting range when we take it out to the range to do a shooting video with it. On with the gun to finish it up. It has a rail on it. So lots of spaces here on your rail. You can put a light on there, a laser on there, whatever you want to. This is gonna be great for home defense, car defense, truck gun. The Mr. or the Mrs. should be able to shoot this very well. 
I mean, it's an easy gun to shoot, right? You're looking at something that's around 36 ounces of a steel and alloy pistol in single action only. So grab the gun, chamber the round, you are ready to go. If you want it on safe, put it on safe. And that's how you carry it. Very nicely done back here. We've got some great texturing on the back strap and the front. Some kind of a finish to it in this gray color. It's almost like it's painted in the alloy in that color. But the grips are really easy to replace if you notice how thick the grips are here too. So you're not looking at much of a difference when you go to this lock grip as far as the width of the pistol, which is something that um, concerns some people with the Berettas. You don't wanna add very much width to this gun. You wanna keep it as narrow as possible because when you put in that double stack magazine, you know, it takes up some real estate and it makes the pistol a little chunky through here. That's how you get 18 plus one, 19 rounds of nine millimeter right here in the state of Oregon. They didn't get that passed. All right, that's really super cool too. Anyway, they can suck it. Uh, great gun, if you like them. If you don't like them, I just don't think you've shot the right one. If you shot one in the military that was all used up and abused and it was on its last legs, I don't think that's quite fair to the pistol. I think you guys need to try something that's a little newer and in better shape before you pass judgment on it. Almost 100% for 80,000 rounds is what the government was looking at when they put these pistols through their paces. So if you don't know about that, look it up. All the testing that was done on the Beretta pistols before they were adopted as the official U.S. sidearm. Thanks for watching the video guys on the new 92XI Tactical. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to our channel here on YouTube, the Beretta 9mm USA channel and the CZ 9mm USA channel for more guns and gear videos coming up in the future. We'll see you guys on the next video. And remember, your second amendment is worth protecting.